think now oh, it's change. Take advantage of opportunities and don't give up. Don't give up on the dream. Alright? Spin your boy. This is the gates. the hell? Feel me? And that is it. Trying about my dad. My dad was a fitness man, a motivator, a teacher, a positive man. I just hope I could be a quarter bit like that. My dad was an awesome person. So I want the world to see a product of my dad and I want the world to remember my dad. You feel me? And it's been your boy. Big love. In 2020, from 2021 to 2022 April. No, no, 2020 to 2022 April. Channel is boot. This channel is boot. This year for like the rest of this year and probably into the new year, the next year coming up, cause time flying bro. If you watching this, time is flying bro. Don't waste your time. Time is flying. Make the most of your goddamn time. Because before you blink, oh shit, three months gone. Oh oh shit. Oh yeah, that's what's happening. Time is flying, bro. Alright, well this channel about for the rest of this year and the next year gonna be about fitness mainly calisthenics because you know your boy ain't having no no dough to afford equipment because i really don't want to go in gyms but for the purpose of filming we're gonna go in gyms but for the rest of this year it's mainly about calisthenics body weight exercise, exercises dieting probably binging challenges uh fucking healthy shakes healthy food calisthenic workouts this exercise for that before and afters, this challenge, this blah blah, blah. we're gonna be doing story times. I have like in our next binder home something like this. In our next binder home, I have like a whole sh a bunch of different videos that I want to do. Now with this kind of quality, eh? but with better quality, that binder home, I wanna do those videos, do the fitness, mix it in. So one video will be story, next video will be fitness, the next video will be Diet, next video will be challenge, just keep mixing it up, mixing it up, something like that. And just this channel will keep them positive, keep motivated, keep fit, keep healthy, keep on the right diet, keep on the right track, stay, keep your mental health in check. You feel me? Just keep alright, just keep these in my videos because it's good luck. I'm a, I'm a dad own. I took it from my dad, so it's good luck. You feel me? So just keep it in my videos as a little fidgety spinner. And I just keep it out nearby. Alright? But the video is getting a little better every day, so trying to make it look nicer. Mm -hmm. Try to clean up the place. Let's make the videos look a little better. I enjoy the YouTube thing, I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy making videos, editing videos, coming up with new video ideas, just talking to the camera, getting accustomed to it, because you know, practice makes perfect, okay? You can't fucking bam bam, YouTuber, fucking, I good at everything. No, 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 you ain't good at shit. You need to practice, you need to get experience, you feel me? You can't be good at, any, at everything. You gotta be, pace yourself, practice, 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 experience, and you should be on your way, all right? But, your boy, your boy just like doing what he doing, and I gonna keep to it. This video is more for like me, so I can look back, and say, you know what, yo, I, I kept my word, I did what I did, said I was going to do, all right, but, guys, just try to keep positive, and you feel me, go watch my other videos and stuff, some of them funny, all right, I'll probably leave a funny clip at the end of this, but, it's been your boy, big love, big love, oh shit, oh yeah, and all right, so, oh yeah, subscribe, subscribe immediately, if you're watching this, and you stay this long for rambling, of no purpose, no plot, no nothing, and you just stay this long for rambling, you need to subscribe right now because the videos will only get better from here. You feel me? You fuck you. You stay here for fucking rambling, and you ain't hit the subscribe button yet. All right, buddy, subscribe. You feel me? You dig? Big love. Most narcissists believe in themselves a lot. Like they believe that they are they are special humans. The narcissists. 
Bro, she fucks you in. Oh, hold on. She fucked this girl in, look. For God's sakes. The fuck, I wasn't outside. Alright. Just botch this whole fucking video. For God's sakes, bro. You cause me or my wife any kind of worry at all. I, I will hurt you. He heft the hammer as he already weighed the damage it could do to her. Do you think you think about that, understand? You stay you stay up here today and you think about what you did. And I warn you, if I hear that you even try to leave this room today, I'll fix you so you'll never leave it again. His lips curled into a smile as cold as his eyes. And I'll fix your father too, understand? Sarah nodded. Speak! Mitch demanded, smashing a hammer down on the table that served at Sarah's desk. Sarah jumped reflective, reflexively. Yes, sir, she whispered. I'm from work tonight. I expect to see a different Sarah, understand? The hammer rose again. But this time, Sarah didn't wait for it to crash down. Yes, sir, she, she, she breathed. Mitch left the room, locked the door behind him. And when she was finally alone, Sarah sank into the narrow coat, curled herself into a tight ball, and finally gave into the tears. She, she's been struggling against for so long. They left Sarah, Sarah's caseworker, and Bethany didn't know who that was. She could, of course, start waiting, wending her way through the, the county briefly, but they, they might take days. On the other hand, she could see Sarah's father, a father who was bound to know who had legally responsibility for his daughter. She checked the dashboard clock. Visiting hours at the prison would be over soon. If she was going through with, with this, she'd better get in there. He gave in to his father. I'll do whatever you want me to do, he said. Just stop, just don't send me back to the hospital. Finally, his father smiled. True, though Nick felt no hint of warmth from it. Then keep away from that girl and we'll see what happens, okay? Nick could not imagine staying away from Sarah, but he nodded anyway. Okay, his father repeated. Okay, Nick whispered. Good, then I guess we're done here. Dinner in a few minutes, I'll be done. His father left the room not bothering to close the door behind him. And, 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 and it was all Nick could do to keep from going over and slamming it shut. But, but that would only make things worse. And he already started to think of ways around his father's order. He could still see Sarah at the school, especially if they arranged an uh, accidental bump into each other. What could his father do about that? How could he even know? It wasn't like his father paid them much attention to him in any way. Besides, even if he wanted to stop seeing Sarah, he couldn't. The voices in his head wouldn't let him. Alright? If you don't like reading, because you're reading boring shit, get interested in books. If you don't like to fucking read, it's because all you have read is boring fucking garbage can books. Alright, but. Sarah and Nick. Sarah is the crippled girl who got who got injured in a car crash because her father bounced hit her with the car on his way home drunk and he killed a dude just before coming home in a fist fight. He didn't know he killed the dude. But her father is in jail. She crippled. She befriended a, 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 a somewhat a so-called crazy guy in school. A next little teenager who hearing voices in the head. And the family's terrible. Two of them have her, the family, the foster family she's with, terrible fucking human beings. And his dad, terrible dude too. Alright, buddy. You know, teens, they go always find a way around it. But this has been your boy, Big Love. Subscribe to the channel if you stay this long.